Uh, I got to know Pat, who is my representative there. And we talked about that we had three kids and one on the way when we started the company. We bought our first machine from Pat. And when we had our fourth child, he said, hey, I know you've got a lot going on. I'm going to come in and run your machine for you for the next three days so you can stay home with your wife and your baby. No. My friends, I am at TMD Machining today. I'm with my buddy Tom, and as soon as I walked in, I started hearing the song, Maybe I'm Crazy. <laughs> oh, you didn't see Tom laughing. It's because he had three kids with one on the way in 1995, and he said, you know what? I'm going to start a machine shop. Yeah. That's kind of how it started, it isn't did. it, Tom? It did, yeah. And a lot of people thought we were crazy, <laughs> not just you. Yeah, well, yeah. I'm grateful to be here. Great. 1995 Great and, and, and starting this journey, and now I believe over 120,000 square feet, somewhere between 70 and 90 machines. I mean, what you're doing yeah. here is incredible. Yeah, yeah. So excited, so excited to have you here with us today. Yeah, and it's been quite the journey over the past 30 years. Uh, starting off with just one machine in a friend's garage to all of this, 120,000 square feet, Fortune 500 customers, and just a wonderful team here to work with at TMD. Oh, uh, you know, let's go take a, a little walk, Tom, because you've already said something that's near and dear to my heart, and that you mentioned your team. Yeah. I mean, we can't do it without the right people, can we? But no. you recognize that, and that's what good leadership is. Oh, thank you. Well, I appreciate that. But yeah, we just have had... A uh, wonderful group of people to work with, a leadership team. Uh, we, we, we consider everybody here to be family, so it's our extended family. I have my four kids that are all involved with the business, uh, two of them here at TMD, two of them at our heat treating company. Um, and so not just immediate family, but our extended family of 150 employees uh, just means so much to my wife, Karen, and myself. That's Super impressive, incredibly vertically integrated, a high mix, low volume shop with automation everywhere, investing a lot in what I saw is Takasawa. We walked by, I know we're going to talk about a whaling machine. Yeah. But I had a cheat code just above my head. I'm failing at it right now. It's gonna, you're going to see it in the background. Just, there it is. Treat all with respect and kindness, hardworking, performance driven, attention to detail, work and achieve, succeed as a team. That's a really great core value. You came up with that all by yourself? We did, yeah. The leadership team and myself came up with that, but it was more so uh, looking at who we are and who we've been. It wasn't something that we just created. It's like, what's important to us? What has been important to us is we built this company, and that's what, that's what we came up with. That came out of that. Let's talk a little bit about, I believe you have a 30-year relationship with a partner of yours who has continued to supply you with wonderful machines. You've just invested in another wheelie. We have one right behind us now. We walked past a whole lot of Takasawa. What's that relationship been like? Uh, I mean, it's hard to describe. When I describe it to people, um, it's just not a typical business relationship. So for 30 years, we've been working with KM Industrial. That's who we buy our wheelie and our Toyota from. And I use the example of, uh, I got to know Pat, who is my representative there. And we talked about that we had three kids and one on the way when we started the company. We bought our first machine from Pat. And when we had our fourth child, he said, hey, I know you've got a lot going on. I'm going to come in and run your machine for you for the next three days so you can stay home with your wife and your baby. No. So that's the kind of relationship that we've had for 30 years. It's not just a build uh, business relationship. We've got a personal relationship, and that's how they treat us. Uh, and I think that's how they treat everybody, not just us. Uh, Tom, how do you feel about a grown man crying? Because I'm about to cry <laughs> on camera. What a heartfelt and yeah. touching story for yeah. somebody to do that. Yeah, yeah. It just blew me away when he did it, when he offered to do it, and then he wouldn't take no for an answer. And uh, he's been that way for the past 30 years in our relationship. So. Uh, we're, we're, we're pretty dialed in with doing work with them and sticking with them. And Toyota and Wheelie have just been a great addition over the years as we've worked with them as well. Well, we all need friends like that, but I would imagine you're the same type of human. I, uh, what I'm I gathering hope, from I, you. I hope so. Yeah. Yeah, intend to be. Yeah, well, so far so good. We've yeah. only just met. I consider you uh, just 
I, I, you know, you make me want to turn in my resume is what's happening. <laughs> you make me want to move to Michigan, turn Come in my on, resume. We love it. Come work with us. <laughs> I love that. So Brett is actually waiting for us because we yeah. have a new five axis machine we're going to talk about. Yeah. You have done your duty today, my right. friend. You made me cry a little bit, <laughs> a little bit about this story. Um, I'm going to start singing that song again All about right. being crazy. Uh, but congratulations on everything you're doing since 1995, over 120,000 square feet, your partnerships, your relationships, your continued success, 70 to 90 machines. Good things come to good people, my friend. Thank you. Appreciate it. Absolutely a pleasure. Yeah. All right. All right, brother. Brent, how are we, sir? Very good. How you doing? Living a dream. I'm going to pop this on you if that's all right with you. Sure is. Yes, sir. And I'm going to turn this camera off and we're going to go off to the other cameras we have sitting here right in front of us. Brent, I've kind of been talking about this new machine, and I kind of gave you a few uh, accolades along the way. Talking with top, we we're talking about how well you work, how good you are at machining. Um, mm -hmm. I see you smiling already, but you have run several five-axis machines in your machining journey. Is yeah. that correct? Quite a few different brands. How does this Whaley compare in the world of five-axis? Really well. Uh, the accuracy, the dependability, the repeatability has been very good. Uh, the access getting in there with the doors, both opening up, haven't had that. So that is just awesome. That is unique and interesting. I'm happy you brought that up. I feel like if I was to walk in the machine, I have so much space right now yes. to kind of, whether it's a bigger piece, a smaller piece, whether I need to, you know, maybe lean in and try not to hurt my back. There's a lot of space Correct. to get in there. Especially you get the big Kurt vices or something that way to lift it in there. You can actually have two people do it and not have to use a lift valuable valuable piece there I, I can tell that's from experience maybe <laughs> maybe, maybe from experience okay you are a job shop uh, or let's just say high mix low volume yeah. right and, and you do a this is an aluminum part but mainly you run a lot of steels and harder of, materials as well stainless a lot of harder but a lot of it we get in the middle before it goes out for heat treat harder in difficult but to machine yes yeah you know, we can get into the ink and and Stuff that way as well. Is that your favorite? No. <laughs> <laughs> Mine either. Right? But it does create good work. It does help a lot of industries out there. So we do run into those high nickel super alloys from time yeah. to time. And we have to have reliability. Do you feel like this Whaling machine is giving you that, that rigidity, that power? It doesn't bog down. And how's the repeatability on the precision? That portion has been great. You know, we run apart once we get it dialed in. As long as the tool holds up, the machine has been repeating, probing, everything that way, just great. Uh, the tool breakage detection that we can put in there with the bloom laser and with the touching off and the probing with the bloom, it just works very nice. So we can probe each part individually so that as the lathe or one of the other mills had any variances, we can probe the part individually so that we can put our features on that part where we need to. I noticed as well in this part right here, I see a fifth axis work holding. I know they're very famous for dovetail work yeah. holding as well. Do you do a lot of dovetail work? And I ask that to lean toward, are you trying to do as many done in ones as you can, which is that whole five axis world? Done in one and a half, <laughs> you know, because you got to get rid of the dovetail. Right. We have no way of not having the dovetail off in there, but the parts that we can do it with the one and done. Yeah. Yeah. If you were to talk about, in the world of five axis machining conveying to the folks out there who are currently I mean, probably upgrading their three axis machines right they're putting on the the quick change blocks in order to have some sort of repeatability and i think that's intelligent maybe a trunnion's on there for a three plus one or three plus two as well but what's the true difference between upgrading fully to a five axis machine and why would they want to consider doing that you can do parts you can't do with the three plus one and the three plus two complete. Yeah. You, know, you can have everything moving to do a profile that you could not get on there otherwise. You know, if you have a, a tough radius that you've got to get on a corner of a part, you can't do it three plus two unless you want to have 14 different indexes around there. This can just truly work integrated in there and give you that blend or that corner that you want. Yeah, I completely agree. It's almost... At this point, it's almost a redundant or rhetorical question, but I wanted to hear it, yeah. you know, from the mouth of babes, as they say, or something like that. Just hear it from the machinist's mouth because it's true. And for everyone watching out there, that's exactly how it works is is you can do things you just can't do. And should you upgrade your three axis? Absolutely. But 
eventually, if we're going to compete here in the U.S., as I'm currently in Michigan right now and in an amazing shop that has, you know, somewhere between 70 and 90 machines, we must, on a global scale, in order for global competition, upgrade all of our machines. I see automation all over this shop. As far as this machine itself, Brent, as I close this entire conversation out, yeah. would you recommend it for others? Give JTEC a call. Give your distributor a call. Is this 100%. something you would recommend? 100%. Having run, right now, I'm, this is the fourth different brand. So far, this is my favorite. There's things, there's been a learning curve. You know, the hide and hand control is new to me. Everything I've learned has been really good, uh, but really like this machine. It's yeah. just, it's fit our niche of what we do and the part that we're doing very well. And Brent, I'm, I'm actually happy you said that. And hide and hide is fairly new to me as well. Um, but in the world of five axis, the more complicated we get on our parts, the more precise we need to be on our parts, adapting to software like hide and hide allows this part to become even better in the future. So I'm, right. I'm happy you were open enough to say, you know what? Let's get, hold my beer, right? Let's that's give it, it a try. It exactly. <laughs> so as I've gotten it, it's gotten easier and easier and it's making more sense. Uh, it's just a learning curve. So, but so far a short learning curve. It's a, yeah, it's amazing how, what courage can do to the advancement of some machine shop, just like you've done. Yeah. Thank you for being a machinist. Thank you All for right. joining me on camera. Thank Not you. everyone is brave enough, but Brent says, I have no fear. I can join on camera. And TMD, congratulations on all your success since 1995 and the courage from Tom to have three kids with one on the way to start in the garage and say, we can do this. And they have. And what an amazing journey it's been. Thank you all for watching. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments. I'll get you in touch with either these guys or JTEC or anyone you need to answer the questions for you to make sure that you are thoroughly supported. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again soon.